only three days, you can tell a remarkable difference. Just an enormous difference in color. Um, I'll give you a flashback here on the screen here for sure, but it is looking unbelievable compared to three days ago. Ironite, what you see right here, this is one of the products, probably the most popular product out there that people buy and put on their lawns every year to deepen up the green of the lawn, but not push extra growth. If you don't want to mow your grass uh, any more often, but you want it to be green, then this is the product that people have been buying for many years. I almost never apply Ironite to my lawn. I usually do a liquid product, mostly because granular iron products will oxidize very quickly. Depending on your conditions and application, you might have less success than you expect. Not always, but it's very possible. Today, however, I wanted to put down ironite on three, no, four different patches of my side yard back here. I'm gonna be putting the ironite down in four different uh, potencies, um, concentration rates. I'm gonna be putting down a half dose, a full dose, a double dose, and then something ridiculous, just to show what happens when you over apply due to error. My test spots over here are gonna be roughly four square feet each. So taking bag rate, I've actually scaled down um, uh, the amount of stuff that I'm gonna have to hand sprinkle it to make sure that I get even distribution over the squares. But we're talking, these are very small amounts. It's like 0.1 ounce per four square feet for the half rate. The excessive square is going to be one ounce, which is the equivalent to roughly five times the bag rate. Just to set your expectations, I've kind of scalped this grass down a little bit low. So it's gonna start out looking a little bit dingy, certainly not a vibrant green. And I'm gonna wait seven full days to show you what the results are of each one of these plots. Water. I'm not gonna apply ironite anywhere except for inside the box. I'm gonna do a half rate there, a full rate here, a double rate here, and a ridiculous rate there. Before I put the ironite down, I'm gonna be watering. Obviously I'm watering right now. I want to get the soil under the grass uh, super duper wet. Uh, then I'm gonna put the ironite down, then I'm gonna water it again. Uh, it's just gonna help activate uh, the iron in the soil. Um, and I, I'm gonna water it immediately after I put it on the ground because I don't want it to oxidize. Um, I want it to go into the soil as quick as possible so that the grass can actually uptake it. If I wait too long to get that stuff to activate in the soil, it's gonna oxidize and the grass isn't gonna use it at all. A lot of times people that try to use ironite and say it didn't work, a lot of times it has oxidized before the grass can uptake it and that's the reason. Just for the fun of it, I'm not gonna be applying any iron to the rest of this lawn space. However, as I come over here to the main lawn that I'm slowly renovating this spring, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down some liquid iron like I normally would on this lawn space. The application is totally different. You actually want to spray liquid iron onto dry uh, grass leaves and then don't touch it. You're not gonna water it in. The liquid iron actually works far, far faster because it absorbs straight into the leaf tissue. You don't have to push it down into the dirt and let the roots absorb it. The leaf tissue sucks it in immediately and it starts greening up within 24 hours. All right, for four square feet, that is 0.1 ounce. That's all I need for a half rate. That's a full rate, roughly 0.2 ounces. This right here is a double rate. This is 0.4 ounces. And then this right here is my bigger bowl. That is one ounce. So that's a little bit more than twice that. This would be five times as much as this. It's gonna be interesting to see if this gets to the point of iron toxicity where it starts blackening. If you're putting down reasonable rates of iron, you're gonna get an increase in the uh, richness or the darkness of your green color. But as you start putting too much down, it starts getting a naturally green to the point where it's almost starting to look black. I don't normally hand spread stuff for the lawn like that. So I don't have a lot of experience, but while doing it, I feel like I did a pretty good job getting a good even spread on the half dose. And it also feels like I put like nothing down. So I'm skeptical that I'm even gonna see a difference in that, that spot. The area where I put the full rate down, I actually feel like I spread it poorly. Um, so I think it's gonna be a little bit uh, clumpy, not an even green, but we'll see, time will tell. Uh, the next 
two up, the, the double rate, then the extreme rate. Both of those, there was so much, there was physically enough material that I feel like I spread it pretty, pretty nice. And you can literally tell that there's a lot there. So again, it would be fun to see what everything looks like and how ridiculous my lawn is gonna look for the next six weeks or so. I got my grass cut pretty short, but even still, almost none of the stuff that I hand spread is sitting on the dirt. Like when you look at it up close, it's all obviously sitting on the leaves. And that's why we really have to water it in a lot. The more water we put on it, the more of that iron gets all the way down to the dirt. Because if it never gets to the dirt and it just gets damp on the leaves, then it might burn the leaves, but it's certainly gonna oxidize and none of that stuff is actually going to uh, affect your grass's color in any way. All right, four days has passed since I put the ironite down on uh, my spots. I haven't mowed the grass since. I still haven't moved uh, my cord that I'm using for delineation. I don't know about you, but when I look back there, I don't see a difference yet now. It's been four days. I said I was gonna wait seven. Remember, granular iron in the form this time, you know, it's coming from ironite, but it could be any other brand putting iron down in a granular form. It's gonna take a while because a lot of the iron will oxidize even in the best of scenarios, the best of application environments. And then what iron doesn't oxidize is gonna go down into the soil and then the plant roots have to uh, suck it up into the plant before it starts working. So there's a few different stages in the process. It doesn't work instantly. Now I'm gonna continue giving this the next three days, like I, like I initially said I would, to see if we can start seeing a deeper green in one week. But while we wait, I'm gonna consider this a four day head start, and I'm gonna start putting some liquid iron over on the other main lawn. All right, my go-to liquid iron that I've used for years is this Lawn Star chelated liquid iron. I don't use it very often, so I've had this bottle for a while. There are some fancier products out there that's basically the same thing, chelated iron, except for they throw fertilizers into it, so you can just get everything done all at once. Um, I don't own those products, so uh, I can't show them to you. Uh, I'm just using a regular pump sprayer. You can get these things pretty cheap at just about any store around town. And uh, I'm gonna clear the yard off before I spray. That's my new fancy computer sprinkler system set up above ground. Uh, I gotta take off the ground and dig it in. So I'll probably be digging that in over the next week. Unrelated topic to this video, however. This is what the yard looks like right now. Some older mature green grass, dark green grass, and then some of this younger grass that's been coming up uh, is lighter green. For those curious, this is a warm season, mostly Kikuyu lawn. All right, I'm officially at day seven and take a look at my strip back here. Seven days ago, the ironite went down and all of those different consistencies and from back here, can you tell a difference? I can't tell a difference at all, like nothing. Let me show you up close really briefly because what's crazy is three days ago when I put the liquid iron on the other lawn over there, you could tell a major difference. All right, so I pulled the extension cord off and cut the grass and I've given it water throughout the week. Everything is great. It actually looks nicer than it did a week ago when I started this project. But look, I mean, there's nothing. There's no difference at all. Nothing. That was with me going on one of those squares five times over the label rate and taking extra care to make sure that I put it down and get it watered in heavy. You can't tell the difference, but only three days after applying liquid iron to this lawn space, you can tell a remarkable difference. Just an enormous difference in color. We still got a little bit of the yellowing here, which is significantly darker than the yellowing was three days ago. Um, I'll give you a flashback here on the picture on the screen here for sure. But it is looking. <laughs> Unbelievable compared to three days ago. I've always said that granular iron has to come in extremely high uh, doses, uh, which is why if you compare the concentration rates on a bag of ironite and compare it to how much iron is in a liquid product, there is way more in a granular because the vast majority of it is completely lost. 
becomes unavailable to the grass. It also has to go down into the dirt, so there is a reasonable argument to be made that this grass will continue to absorb that iron in the soil, and I'll start seeing uh, some patchy, uh, darker green spots here over the next week or two but I doubt it's going to be a notable, significant difference. If you're interested, if you're actually interested in pushing green in your lawn without pushing excessive growth, I have a full video all about applying liquid iron to your lawn right up here. Does liquid iron actually green up the grass? Well, I think it's pretty clear right here, but I go far more into detail in this video. Watch that next. And thank you for watching this one first.